All right, my friends, today we're looking at the AMT 1965 Lincoln Continental uh, Wagon Customizing Kit. So this is kind of an interesting kit here. You can build this one or two way. You can build this as a 65 Lincoln Continental Station Wagon here. It's got a custom front end and a custom rear end. Um, the 65 Lincoln did not come in a station wagon. So this would be like a fantasy car here. It's kind of cool. Um, but you can also, other side of the box. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's also as the uh, the convertible if you just want to build it normal the, uh, a regular convertible Lincoln Continental which is also a cool car so I wanted to do the station wagon because I'm a station wagon type of guy I love the wood paneling so I took a look at it and decided I wanted to do it the normal Continental with the station wagon and uh, this is what I came up with all right I think this is kind of a cool looking kit uh, it certainly had a few issues with it. I will explain some of these issues here in a second. But yeah, that uh, I think came out pretty freaking sharp looking. I like this. I like the way it looks. All right. So if you want to do the uh, uh, convertible, obviously this whole top piece here is a separate piece. Uh, so you would just build it normally. If you want to do it the station wagon, um, you got to put this on, but you would have to cut out the whole back section here, the trunk lid, which is this section here. So there's a whole piece that goes in the back there. It gives you the lines underneath on where to cut it, so it's not like, you know, you're eyeballing it. Alright. <clears throat> so the interior, oh, then you got to add an interior piece on the back here. You got two uh, clear parts. You got the regular clear, and then you got the dark clear. I took the uh, the straight up regular window for the front, and then did the tinted window in the back. So there's a section here in the back here that you have to cut and glue onto the uh, interior. I wish I would have taken pictures of the interior before I put it in, because this is actually one of my best interior jobs of all time here, and I did the... Uh, the tinted windows and you really can't see them really happy with the way the interior came out on this anyways all right so the chassis is um, the the steel axle pretty basic uh, everything's molded into the bottom there uh, you got to put the engine in there and that's about it you can see the engine doesn't really line up there um, it's got the flip hood once I put the body on to the chassis the hood, one, doesn't sit straight anymore. It doesn't open up all the way, so that's all kind of wasted space. I wish I would have glued the hood down, because now I can't get it in there properly. Got the cool hood ornament. The front end there, it's uh, just black wash to grill. Rear end here, um, had a little problem getting this on. This didn't want to stay on. Uh, the bumper piece, I should say. Now, the uh, the top piece here for the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, station wagon here, didn't quite line up properly with the body here. You can see there's a gap there and kind of comes up. So when I put it all together, I did not notice a warp in the body, but if you look at it from the front, it's straight. But then when you spin it around on the back, the body is all kind of wonky like that. So I don't know if that was from the interior being tried to put in there. Maybe I didn't cut enough. Or the body was just warped because I cut this out. I don't know. And I also think it sits a little high on the chassis because you can see all the uh, the chassis underneath it. I, from the pictures I could tell, um, it's supposed to sit a little more flush. So I think it sits a little high. It comes with two sets of wheels. Uh, these and those little customizing things. I didn't really care for those, but I did, uh, did like the white walls. I thought that was pretty sharp. You got two sets of uh, wood grain decals. I went with this one because I thought it looked good. I painted it a, um, a Rust-Oleum cream color. I think that looks really good. The interior is a Rust-Oleum cranberry, which I, you have seen on a few of my other model cars. Um, yeah. So, like I said, it went together pretty decent. Um, just be careful of this hood, and be careful how the um, the back station wagon piece adds on there also as you can see the window kind of doesn't line up properly inside the the wagon addition piece there I had problems trying to get that in there 
But yeah, other than that, I think it looks really good when it's done here. This is uh, pretty proud of this. I think this is a sharp looking little station wagon. It's definitely something I would have uh, would have liked to have back in the day. I think that looks really, really good. I should mention that the wood panel decals are three decals. You got the rear, the middle, and the beginning. What I did was uh, I put the the rear and the front on, and then I put the middle piece in, making sure that uh, everything was still wet and movable. That way I was able to then line up the the chrome work straight down, and you can see the chrome goes right across there. So yeah, this is a pretty cool kit. I've been, I enjoyed this. I thought it was interesting. It's kind of my first time uh, chopping up a uh, car there. That was kind of cool. Really, really liked it. Like I said, even with its couple uh, issues, I still think this is a great little uh, piece. I would love to do the um, the convertible, actually. Got to do it black like that because this is freaking sweet. All right, so that's my video of the 1965 Lincoln Continental Station Wagon. The Fantasy Wagon, if you will, from AMT. I recommend this one. That's all I got. All right, everybody. I appreciate all my, uh, well, everyone watching. Appreciate my subscribers. Appreciate you hitting the like button. Uh, don't forget to write me. If you're not a subscriber, uh, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. It's uh, always free. And um, I always got cool things I'm working on. All right, everybody. There it goes. I don't know. It had a weird pause there on the screen there. All right, everybody. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a good one. And uh, stay tuned for a slideshow. And don't forget to stay tuned to my channel for more videos. All right, everybody. Take care.